Comparing, adding and subtracting fractions. Key points to remember. To order, add or subtract fractions, the denominators must be the same. Always try to make the smaller denominator the same as the larger denominator. What do you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator. If the denominators are not multiples of each other, find the lowest common denominator and write both fractions with this denominator. Example 1. Which fraction is bigger? 7 tenths or 3 quarters? Step 1. Find a common denominator. The smallest number that 10 and 4 go into is 20. Step 2. Write the fractions with the same denominator. For 7 tenths, we multiply the denominator by 2 to make it 20, and we multiply the numerator by 2, which gives us 14. For 3 quarters, we multiply 4 by 5 to make it 20, and we multiply 3 by 5, which gives us 15. Step 3. Compare the numerators. 15 is bigger than 14, so the biggest fraction is 3 quarters. Example 2. Which fraction is exactly halfway between 1 third and 3 sevenths? Step 1. Find a common denominator. To find a common denominator, we will just multiply 3 by 7 to get 21. For 1 third, we times the denominator and the numerator by 7 to get 7 over 21. For 3 sevenths, we multiply the denominator and the numerator by 3 to get 9 over 21. Step 2. Find the number between 7 and 9, which is 8. The fraction halfway between 1 third and 3 sevenths is 8 over 21. Example 3. Work out 2 fifths, add 1 third. Lowest common denominator of 3 and 5 is 15. We times 5 by 3 and we times 2 by 3, which gives us 6 over 15. We times the 3 by 5 and we times the 1 by 5, which gives us 5 over 15. Now we add the numerators. 6 add 5 equals 11. 2 fifths add 1 third equals 11 over 15. For subtraction of fractions, use the same method as for addition. For some practice questions on ordering, adding and subtracting fractions, visit us at www.11plusgenie.com.